Hello there. Reintroducing PrintShift. This is PrintShift 3.0. PrintShift is a modification to the Prusa Mini to enable it to print hundreds of parts in a row, one after another. It is a conveyor belt based part ejector that leaves the Prusa Mini as unmodified as possible. PrintShift is open source. The idea there is that anyone can install it, enjoy it, and even help to improve it. There is no firmware modification, no hardware cutting or editing, and if you want to print on your Mini's original print surface, you can simply pop it down right on top of the belt. The PrintShift goal is to turn your 3D printer into a 3D factory. PrintShift can power your online store, printing out parts all automatically for you. You can design promotional items for your business, or even just fulfill your 3D whims without visiting your printer after every print. For those new to PrintShift, let's take a look around the printer and see how you can turn your printer into the factory. First, change the Prusa Mini. The first change to the Prusa Mini is that we lift the bed 4 millimeters in order to fit our bed rollers in place. This is PrintShift 3.0 with a nice clean front. The ejector has been moved to the rear and no longer uses chunky finger hungry gears to power it. The most obvious feature is this 0.2 millimeter thick capped on belt. This is your print surface stretched tight by the idler roller. The other EPDM covered roller is your drive roller which will grip and move the belt in order to keep the bed as light as possible. PrintShift's drive roller couples to a remote motor that lives back here. The high torque motor is geared down one step further to enable our split spider. These teeth will interlock and engage to drive the conveyor belt when ejecting. All of this is controlled by G-code. When you wish to eject your parts, the bed is moved into the ejection position, and then the Z axis is raised to activate a micro switch. That will power the motor and start your print on its way. Now, with just those parts, you can write your ejection code to your USB stick and print out sets of parts. You can concatenate your G code together. But as you can see, we've also added a nice mount for the Raspberry Pi back here and the Pi camera. You can monitor and start prints from afar. This machine's also sporting an upgraded Bontech extruder. You can check out my other videos for more Prusa Mini modifications. We've been playing with these machines, trying to make them as reliable as possible. Because when you can print hundreds of parts in a row, you don't want to stop for an extruder jam. If you like what you've seen, please like and subscribe because PrintShift is just getting started. If you'd like to support PrintShift, you can do so at patreon.com slash printshift. And big thank you to those patrons that have signed on already. Patreon support lets me buy parts and test multiple ideas at once and prototype faster. That said, PrintShift is and will always be open source. You can find our bill of materials, STL files, and a growing set of instructions at printshift3d.com. Happy printing!